Institute for Integrative Health and Fitness Education. Welcome to this edition of Integrative Movement Insider. I want to shoot this video real quick for you because we had a question that came in regarding our last edition, part one of our four-part series on Two Anatomy Geeks. So I hope this finds you well. And if you haven't signed up for Two Anatomy Geeks, we're doing a free four-part series on the shoulder complex, the anatomy around the shoulder compl complex. So that way you understand how the shoulder works and why so many of your clients, your, especially your older clients, struggle with a forward head and forward, forward shoulder position and why so many of them have chronic tightness and or discomfort or just can't do the things they need to and or want to at the level they need to and or want to. So we're providing this resource to you for absolutely free. No charge to you. We're giving you our best information. And as I shared with you last Tuesday, this is the information we share only as part of our Integrative Movement Specialist Certification, the year-long intensive. I'll give you some more information about that training program if you want to join us and take advantage of the time you have right now to uplevel your education, to empower yourself, educate yourself, and become that leader for your clients, your current clients, so that way you also attract the individuals that need and want you and come out of this stronger and more resilient than you are than you went into this process with because again we're all in lockdown right now we're all dealing with stress we're dealing with clients serving our clients our community our family members we're concerned about our health or our finances our businesses what's going to happen after we come out of this the best thing you can do right now is just take advantage of this time up level your skill set your mindset and your education and we're here to help you do that right now so thank you so much for joining us thank you for all you do for your community so last time as i mentioned we had a question about Somebody wrote in and said, okay, when you do your rowing exercises, for example, I don't see you fully retracting your scapula. Why do you teach that methodology when you teach rows? Because don't you want this client with a forward shoulder position to fully retract to strengthen the rhomboids and those mid traps? That's a really great question because that's the exact same thing I learned 25 years ago in school. It's the same thing almost every education teaches today on the shoulder complex. And it's also the exact same strategy that caused both rotator cuffs of mine to be torn, and I should say in both shoulders, rotator cuff tears in both shoulders, label tears in both shoulders, and created chronic issues for so many of my clients and patients. And what this individual said to me after I replied to him, he's like, oh, it's kind of interesting you say that because I've done, my PTs have given me both his trainers, his physical therapists have given him lots of scapular retractions and depressions, all those I, Y's, T's, and W exercises, and it hasn't made his shoulders better and just made his neck even worse. And that's what we see with so many of our clients is his shoulders get worse from common rehab exercises. However, if they work for you, you keep doing them. Keep doing them with your clients. But I would, su I would suppose that if you are struggling with chronic neck tension, chronic forward shoulder, forward head issues, if you're dealing with chronic shoulder issues, if you have limited ranges of motion, despite all your foam rolling, all your myofascial release, all your activation patterns, then something you're doing about your strategy probably isn't as optimal as it can be. So again, that's why I'm glad to share this information with you. If we look at the scapular stabilizers, last week on Two Anatomy Geeks, we talked about the rhomboids and the serratus, how they actually work together. Even though they're antagonists, they're also synergists together in stabilizing the scapula in upward rotation and posterior tilt and maintaining that nice position as the arm comes out front of the body and ultimately overhead and controlling it as the arm comes back down. Now, if we look at the mechanics of the shoulder, what we do not want to do is actually fully retract the scapula as an exercise strategy. Because if you watch my shoulders, hopefully you can see, it. I'm gonna step real close and turn my back here. This is where the scapula relatively should be in slight upward rotation and posterior tilt. But what happens is when you fully retract and depress the scapula, Look how narrow my shoulders get. That's not the position that you want the shoulders to be in. And if you look from the front, same thing, really narrow shoulders, but when I relax and allow them to go where they need to be, it goes wider. Do this with me again, retract and depress and bring your arms overhead. And you're like, oh, that feels awful. But that's what I got taught in PT. That's what I got taught in chiropractic school. That's what I got taught in every seminar I went to right after chiropractic college and for most of my career. Because what would happen is I would do exactly what I was told, retract and depress and try to bring my arms overhead and I would do tons of pull-ups, body weight pull-ups, pull-ups with weight tied or chained to my waist. I would do tons of dips that direction. I would do tons of rows and retractions and depressions. And like I said, it just tore my shoulders up. So this is how we teach clients to row. And this is what we'll talk about also this coming week on Two Anatomy Geeks. I should say part of what we'll talk about this week. So the first thing we always do you see me do this on most of my videos and people are always like, why do you do what you do? Because I'm setting myself up for success. I'm, I'm aligning my spine and rib cage in the best position. So then the shoulder blades are in their best position on the rib cage prior to moving. 
So it's a long spine as if I'm being pulled up from the backside of my head and neck and then rib cage as well. So I'm not lifting the chest up like this. I'm lifting the rib cage up from the back, keeping the ribs connected in the front. From here, I grab the handles, step back, and then the rowing motion should stop and start here. So I release through the eccentric phase, and then I pull through the concentric phase, not pulling down and back, maintaining that nice open and wide shoulder position. So my scapular retractors are working. They're just not excessively retracting, which is what I don't want to have. So this is what it looks like from the backside, what the shoulders should do. They should protract through the eccentric phase and retract during the concentric phase, but not come back together. Now from the side, same thing. We're gonna set up ourselves first, long spine, stacking the line that rib cage over top of the pelvis, grab the handles, step back. So this will ultimately be my ending position of my row. So now I control the protraction of the scapula, not allowing the shoulders to go here, controlling protraction, and now it's pull without over retracting, not throwing the chest up and squeezing down and back. Teach the scapula stabilizers to stabilize the scapula upon the thorax as they should. You don't want to teach them to over retract and over depress because that's again, like I said, exactly what led into my issues. That's exactly what we see in the majority of our clients and patients that don't respond to classic PT, chiropractic and or massage therapy type approaches. And when you teach your client a more optimal strategy for aligning and controlling their head, their neck, their rib cage, as well as their scapula upon the rib cage, you give them a strategy for improving range of motion, improving control of the scapula, and ultimately working safely and successfully towards accomplishing their health and fitness goals. And that's how you become the go-to expert. And as I mentioned, if you're looking for more resources, check out Two Anatomy Geeks. I don't have the link right here. Thank you for all the nice thumbs up and hearts. I appreciate that. If you have questions, also leave them there. But if you haven't signed up for our free four-part series of Two Anatomy Geeks, Jill, my fellow geek, she's actually teaching anatomy right now online for the Massage Therapy Institute, where we actually met, where I went through as a student as well, where I started to teach and met Jill. That's also where I met my wife as well. So we will be back on this Saturday, 9 a.m. Central Time, discussing the levator scapula and upper traps. And this is very important information if you work with those clients that have those elevated shoulders and have those chronic neck trigger points, especially after they work out. We'll discuss why that is, and then what, more importantly, what you can do about it as a health and fitness professional. So again, any questions, let me know. I'm gonna put the link after I post this video, I'll put the link next to this video so you can sign up if you have not signed up. We had over 200 fitness pros watch the first one, so we're gonna have another couple hundred this weekend. So it's, it's obviously something that's very powerful and important. And as somebody else reported to me, Kamal, I believe his name is, he's like, wow, this is information I never learned as an exercise phys. This is really awesome and amazing information. So thank you, Kamal, for that, for that testimonial, so to speak. We got a lot more great information for you. So that way we support you, help educate you, empower you, inspire you to be that leader for your current clients, serve your community, empower you to be the solution, be the leader that will lead us out of this situation because we will get back to work at some point. I don't know when that is, but we will get back, be that leader for your community, and we're here to support you any way we can. Just let us know. And again, any questions, comments, please let me know, and I'll answer all of them. I do have a new webinar coming up right after this, so I'll answer them later today. I, I promise I'll get back to every single comment. Thanks so much. Make it a great day. This is Dr. Evan Oso with the Institute for Integrative Health and Fitness Education.